हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिग्नल द फर्स्ट टाइप ऑफ सिग्नल इज एनर्जी सिग्नल एंड पावर सिग्नल हियर वी विल फाइंड द एनर्जी ऑफ अ सिग्नल एज वेल एज द पावर ऑफ अ सिग्नल इफ वी टेक द सिग्नल x ऑफ n the energy of that signal can be found using the formula e is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity magnitude of x of n square so this is the formula we'll use to find the energy of the signal if energy is between the range 0 to infinity then x of n is an energy signal so the value of energy should be between 0 to infinity so that the signal x of n is an energy signal now we can find the average power of a discrete time signal x of n using the formula p is equal to limit of n tends to infinity 1 by 2 n plus 1 summation of n is equal to minus n to n magnitude of x of n square so these two formulas you need to remember so that you can find the energy of the signal as well as the power of the signal so here you need to remember if energy is finite then p will be equal to 0 so if energy is finite value then power of the signal will be equal to 0 similarly if energy is infinity then power will be finite so if energy is finite then power will be zero if energy is infinity power will be having the finite value so if we use this condition energy is infinity and power is finite value such type of signal is known as a power signal so for energy signal the energy should be ranging between zero to infinity and for power signal the power should be finite value and energy should be infinity now let us take an example of a power signal for a unit step sequence u of n let us find the power of the signal so let us consider this formula to find the power of unit step signal so in this formula in place of x of n we can replace u of n so we know u of n will be having the value as 1 for n greater than or equal to 0 so for other values of n u of n will be equal to 0 so in this formula we can substitute n is equal to 0 to infinity or we can take n is equal to 0 to n now let us take this summation part so we can write that summation as summation of n is equal to 0 to n because unit step signal is available only for n value from 0 to higher value in this case we can say the signal is varying from 0 to n in place of x of n we can write it as magnitude of u of n whole square so we can write this as summation of n is equal to 0 to n u of n is having the value as 1 if we substitute 1 here so it will be 1 square 1 square is 1 that's why we can write it as 1 so here we will be having the summation of 1 from 0 to n so the number of ones that are available from 0 to n will be equal to the upper limit which is n minus the lower limit which is 0 plus 1 so it will be equal to n plus 1 so what we have done in this formula we have calculated this summation part let us substitute this value in this formula and let us simplify the power of unit step signal so we can write p is equal to limit of n tends to infinity 1 by 2 n plus 1 so summation value it is n plus 1 so we can write this as limit of n tends to infinity n plus 
divided by 2n plus 1. Now here, if we take n as common in both numerator and denominator, we can write limit of n tends to infinity, n is common in the numerator, so it will be n into 1 plus 1 by n. And in the denominator, if we take n as common, so it will be 2 plus 1 by n. So here, we can cancel out these two n and 1 by n, if we apply limit as infinity, this term will be equal to 0 and this term will also be equal to 0 if n tends to infinity. This term will be equal to 0 and this term will also be equal to 0. So, we will be left out with 1 by 2. So, we can say the power of unit step signal is equal to 1 by 2. Similarly, if we want to find the energy of unit step function, if we substitute 1 in place of x of n, it will be 1 square. 1 square will be equal to 1. So, energy of unit step signal, we can write it as summation of n is equal to 0 to infinity 1. So, here we need to take summation of 1 from 0 to infinity. So, if we add 1 from 0 to infinity, the value will be equal to infinity. So, we obtained energy of unit step signal as infinity. So, if we observe here, energy of unit step signal is infinity and power of unit step signal is a finite value. So, if energy is infinity and power is finite value, the signal is a power signal. So, the unit step signal is a power signal. So, we can say unit step signal is a power signal. So, similarly, you can find for other signals. Next is periodic and aperiodic signal. So, it is also known as periodic and non-periodic signal. A signal x of n is said to be periodic if it satisfies the condition x of n plus n will be equal to x of n for all the values of n. So, which is nothing but for every n samples, the signal should be repeating itself. So, this concept we have understood in our previous lecture. And if the signal does not satisfy this condition, the signal is known as a periodic signal or non-periodic signal. For a sinusoidal signal, x of n is equal to a sin 2 pi by n into n. So, the signal is periodic if f naught by n is a rational number. So, we can find the power of periodic signal over a period n using the formula p is equal to 1 by n summation of n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 magnitude of x of n square. So, we can use this formula to find the power of periodic signal. Now, let us understand symmetric and anti-symmetric signal which is also known as even and odd signal. If we take the signal x of n which is having the real values, then the signal will be even signal or symmetric signal if x of minus n will be equal to x of n. So, this is the condition for the signal to be even signal. So, this is the example of even signal. As you can observe from the origin, if we observe the signal towards right hand side and left hand side, it is exactly the mirror image of the signal. So, that is why we can say from the origin, if we observe the signal towards right side as well as left side, the signal is symmetrical. So, this signal is known as the symmetric signal or even signal. This signal also satisfies the condition of x of minus n is equal to x of n. For example, if we take x of minus 1, it should be equal to x of 1. So, if we observe this waveform, x of minus 1 is same as x of 1. Similarly, you can observe for other values of n. So, x of minus 2 is same as x of 2 
x of minus 3 is same as x of 3. So that's why this given signal is an even signal or a symmetric signal. A signal is said to be odd signal if it satisfies the condition x of minus n should be equal to minus x of n. So this example shows the odd signal. So here you can observe whatever value we are having for n is equal to 1. We are having the similar value for n is equal to 1 but it is inverted. So it is satisfying this condition. So x of minus n should be equal to minus x of n. At that case the signal is known as odd signal. So if we take any arbitrary signal x of n we can represent it as the summation of even signal and odd signal. So the arbitrary signal can be expressed as the sum of even and odd component. So here the even component can be given as x of n plus x of minus n divided by 2. So and to find the odd component you can use the formula x naught of n is equal to x of n minus x of minus n divided by 2. So if you use this formula you will get the odd component of the signal. This is about classification of signal. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.